Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Intel AMT Commander and how to use it for events and logs. So I'm going to start by connecting to my AMT machine. I have one that's set up in small business uh, mode, but it wouldn't matter if it was enterprise mode. Um, and I'll go to the event log. So the event log here just uh, shows all the events that have occurred on this machine. Most of it is generated during reboots and resets, power off, power ons, but they can also be uh, generated because of case intrusion or because of watchdog events. So um, all of these la latest events have been caused because of watchdogs and uh, I'll be generating some of those. So the first thing you want to do if you want to receive events asynchronously, you know, whenever the platform has an event of some sort, uh, it can notify you using a UDP packet, uh, call an SNMP trap, that uh, an event occurred. So instead of kind of going in and polling and just hitting the refresh button constantly until something happens, what you can do is just have the platform tell you when something happened. So in order to do that, there's two things you got to uh, focus on. It's the event filters button and the alert subscription button. So the first thing we need to do is define an event filter. An event filter basically is uh, defines what events we're interested in. So these are a whole bunch of predefined ones that you'll find with your machine. But what I want to do is define a new filter. So I'll go and add a filter that has match all on everything. So every possible condition, every possible event I want um, to be notified on. So I'm going to just uh, leave this as it is, which is match all everything. But of course I could go and change it and just subscribe to what I'm interested in. Then uh, you put a policy ID. I'm just going to put 100 here and say OK. And this will add a new filter, filter 100, any entity, any type, any sensor. Uh, on some platforms, by the way, you can only define 15 events, so uh, uh, filters. So what you're going to have to do is remove one of these or modify one of these. Usually I take the last one, the system event, and edit edit that one and just change system event here to match all. And so platforms that have fewer event types, that's what I do. So um, we've done our event filter. Now it's time to go and subscribe. We'll click on the alert subscription button. And here is the list of all the IP addresses that this specific machine will send events or send uh, notification packets when uh, events occur. So the first thing I'm going to do is add myself to this list. I'm going to select my own IP address. I can type another one, but I'll select my own. I'll select the filter that we created before. It's the all filter and say add. Now I'm part of the subscription list and I can say close. At this point, any event that is triggered on this machine will cause the machine to send an event to my own IP address. Now it just so happens that Intel AMT Commander also listens for those messages and uh, is listening right now for incoming messages. The event log shows all the events in the log, but network alerts will show all the alerts generated by this specific machine. Now um, I need to have a way to generate events. I could go ahead and reset the machine or uh, trigger, trigger the case intrusion. But what I've done is I've uh, added a watchdog and right now the watchdog is running. And what I'm going to do is cause the watchdog to stop here. You won't see it because it's not on my screen, but on the other computer I'm going to hit a button and it's going to uh, cause the um, cause the alert to fail uh, the watchdog to go into um, into uh, stop mode. Let's see, expired mode. And uh, as you can see, as soon as it went to expired mode, messages started re receiving being received here. I can trigger the watchdog again to go back into running mode, and you're going to see more event come in as um, as this platform generates more events. Now you can see the events here. I can also refresh the event log and you can see more of these events just popped up uh, in the last minute here. All these previous events were generated by uh, me just doing some trials before this video. 
Okay, so now I'm getting, I'm getting asynchronous events. You'll also notice that asynchronous events generate this little text on the bottom right of Commander, and you can double click on this or go to File, Alert Viewer, and you'll see all the alerts generated by this platform or by any platforms. So I can click on any of these alerts and see the entire decode of the alert packet and so on and so forth. This is great for debugging. By the way, de because alerts are UDP packets, uh, they're sent multiple times. If I say show duplicate alerts, you can see that some of these alerts have been sent multiple times. This one has been sent three times. In fact, all alerts are sent three times. Now, each alert will uh, come from the same IP address and will have this, the, a different sequence number if it's a different alert. If it's the same alert, it has the same sequence number. So these two are exactly identical, except for the receive time. Um, so when you don't say to show duplicates, then it only shows you the alerts it's received. So that's it for alerts. Um, remember that you can subscribe to many uh, different computers at once. If um, the, uh, this alert box here only shows alerts when you're connected to the computer, but most of the time you're disconnected, like this. And in that case, you'll still get alerts from the computer right here. And in fact, I just got one. And if you double click here, you'll still get the alerts. So even though you're not connected to the computer, these alerts still show up in Commander, as long as Commander is, is open. So that's it for my tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.